you are trying to get a relationship with a narcissist back on track to that love bombing phase that you were in in the beginning when everything was sunshine and roses, it's not going to happen. That part of the relationship was fake. This part of the relationship that you're in, the toxic abusive part, this is the real narcissist. You can think of a narcissist like a scam artist. You can consider yourself the victim of a love scam, a romance con. These people present at the beginning like they are something that they're actually not. It's absolutely not your fault that you didn't see this right away because they are master manipulators and they're really, really good at convincing you that they are authentic when they are the least authentic people you will ever meet. From day one with a narcissist, they are going to condition you into thinking that the health of the relationship relies on you, that you need to be the one responsible for getting things back on track, that you need to solve all the arguments, that you didn't say something in the right way and that's why they're mad. They can't take the level of accountability needed to make any lasting changes or compromise themselves for the sake of the relationship. But if they can convince you that that's your problem, then they can continue to be abusive and toxic and blame it on you. So then you are thinking, how do I get this back to that great romantic part of the relationship like it was in the beginning? Why are they treating me so poorly? What did I do to deserve this? How can I show them how much I love them? And the answer is you can't, and you didn't do anything to deserve this. This was unfortunately the inevitable destiny of this relationship. Narcissists love bomb you, get you sucked into a trauma bond so that they can devalue you and ultimately discard you. There is no preventing these three steps. It is a toxic cycle that they continue with every single partner. There's nothing that you could have said differently. There's nothing you could have done differently. Even though they try to convince you because of that conditioning that, yeah, this is all your fault. This can lead to some serious rumination for you as you look back on the relationship and think, if I just would have said something different, if I just would have tried a little bit harder, maybe we could have been happy. That was never going to be the case. You were completely future faked by a scam artist. Why did they scam you? Because they wanted something from you. They wanted to take your money. They wanted your validation. They wanted your status. They wanted something out of you and they took it. The best revenge you can get on this con artist is to stop wasting your energy on them, go no contact, and move on.